Hello, my name is Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. Today we're going to look at Light It Up by Sands Minds. Uh, basically this is a self-igniting lighter. It's specially made, we'll get into the details in a little bit. Uh, but this one is in the Midnight Noir colour. It also comes in two other colours, red and a medium brown. This is a normal Zippo lighter. So you can see the difference. The Sands Mines Light It Up gimmick is slightly larger. Uh, I imagine it's a classic lighter like this. Uh, and they say it's covered in a premium leather. For me, this isn't premium leather. It's, it's more like... Um, the plastic leather is a it's, for me it feels like a, a low quality leather but looks good nonetheless uh, and absolutely something that I would use at events it comes in packaging like this a nice little box minimalist little bit of gold foil detail a charger it comes with a cable also it comes with a small card with a QR code that gives you access to the video tutorial uh, which is a download or a stream, and the plastic insert that the lighter comes in. That's the packaging, and this is the lighter. So, in short, this is a lighter that during a magic trick, maybe you will give it to someone to hold. At some point in the magic trick, you'll want to snap your fingers and have a flame appear. Take two. So you will give that lighter to someone to hold at a table or something, have a card signed, you'll snap your fingers and a flame will appear. We'll try this one last time. You take the lighter out mid trick, you give it to someone to hold and at the right point you look over to them, you snap your finger and yet again it does nothing. Last time. You wait, the suspense is building, you look over at them, they're holding the lighter, you snap your fingers and nothing happens. See, this is the problem with Sans Mines. This lighter is $120, £120, doesn't, wherever you are in the world, it's roughly the equivalent of £120 British is a lot of money for a lighter that is inconsistent. Now this lighter is brilliant and it works perfectly, but you have to play around with it a lot to get it to work. You've just seen that I've tried to light it four times and it's failed to ignite every time. Now, the good thing about this is that it does function as a genuine lighter. As you can see, it does actually light. The problem comes when trying to get it to self-ignite Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So you might be left in a situation where you snap, it doesn't light, and then you have to go over and light it yourself. Um, a big problem. If you can get over this inconsistency by maybe maneuvering the wick or, or playing around with it so that it lights every time, it's a phenomenal gimmick that will really enhance the magic that you're performing. So there's a, small, uh, there's a small thing inside, small circuit board inside the, the body of the lighter, which you can remove by opening up the lighter, uh, like you would any other lighter, you remove it from here. Uh, it's built really well, I think. The, the quality is what you would expect from a £120 purchase. The only issue is the inconsistency, uh, which they don't really cover in the instructions. Uh, they, they go through everything in the instructions, they explain everything, but they don't really explain how to fix it if it doesn't really ignite. Uh, and you can see that every time I'm having this problem and the lighter does actually light, it's full of lighter fluid. And that's the main problem with this, uh, which is one of the big problems with a lot of the Sands Mines products. Uh, they are temperamental. Uh, and this is on the pro range. I expect much better. I expect, uh, to be honest, you cannot expect uh, a better build quality. It's built really well, but it doesn't work. At least mine doesn't. And this was a replacement. So the original gimmick that I purchased 
actually the the wick on the gimmick was uh, really terrible quality. It, had, it, it was basically a, a mess of wire mesh, and it didn't actually have any of the any of the cotton and any of the wick to light. So I had to send that back to Sands Mines. Uh, they were very good. They they had me ship it over to them in Canada, and they sent me the replacement, which arrived recently. Uh, but as you can see, still having problems with it. This may just be down to playing with it uh, over time, testing it, different conditions, uh, different amounts of lighter fluid, because you do fill this like you would any other Zippo lighter. You fill it with lighter fluid. Uh, it has an enormous amount of charge. So it charges by uh, micro USB. It can charge from your laptop. It can charge from a plug. Uh, it can charge from a lot of different places, which is great for a traveling magician. And the charge lasts for a long time. I, th I think they said five days uh, on the instructions, which is fantastic. The lighter fluid doesn't last that long, so you will have to re refill it with lighter fluid. And yeah, I, I would love to say that Light It Up has my complete blessing. Again. So... I love this product and I really want to use it, but at the moment, without spending much more time playing around with it, I just couldn't use it at a, at a paid event. Uh, so I'm going to have to say that this product could be a waste of money. If you're willing to put the time in and test it and practice it and different amounts of lighter fluid, different situations, uh, and you want to really try to get it to work. And if you do get it to work consistently, it's phenomenal and completely worth the money. Uh, one other thing that I should mention is that it comes with two settings. So uh, simply by holding a lighter like this, you can have it ignite in uh, five seconds or I think 30 seconds. They are the two different settings. And you also have the ability to, if you're mid magic trick and you, you have set it so that it's going to ignite in 30 seconds, you can also uh, cancel that. You can cancel the ignition. Maybe you go onto another magic trick and then you come back to the magic trick that you were originally doing. And then you can set it up to go for, for 30 seconds or five seconds again. So that's a really nice feature. It's made really well. It's really good quality. If you can get it to work, it's fantastic. But as you can see, uh, mine just, just doesn't seem to want the light. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but I don't want to be left embarrassed when I'm performing uh, in front of clients. One last time, can we get it to work at least once? No, you see the glow, but doesn't want to ignite. Uh, it's a real shame. Uh, I wish that it worked consistently every time without having to spend hours playing around with it, uh, but it just doesn't. Um, so use your money wisely. If you really want to get it and you really think that you'll use it a lot, then go for it. Otherwise, for amateur magicians, I would say don't bother. It's a lot of money on a product that is quite inconsistent. And that's it. That's my opinions on Light It Up by Sands Minds. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this, if you agree. Let me know if you uh, actually have a lot more luck with it, with it igniting. Because maybe there's something that I'm doing wrong with this. Uh, maybe I'm not putting enough lighter fluid. I mean, it drips out of it, but maybe there's something that I'm doing wrong with this, or maybe there's a tip or trick that someone has out there uh, that does make it light more consistently. But yes, leave a comment below, uh, hit the like button as always if you would like me to do more magic reviews. Uh, I've been Scott Perry and this has been a review of uh, Light It Up by Sands Minds.